rate of reactions is a measure of how fast a reaction occurs because rate means how fast a change occurs, right? So rate of reaction is a measure of how fast a reaction occurs. Now, if the reaction is fast, then we say the rate is high. And uh, if the reaction is slow, then we say the rate is low. Okay, so we have two types of uh, rate, high rate or low rate. Okay, if it's fast, so fast means the reaction occurs at a very short time and uh, the rate is high. Slow means it takes uh, longer times for it to complete and the rate is low. Now, by definitions, uh, just now it's just the understandings. Okay, rate of reaction means how fast the reaction occurs, right? But then, uh, by definition, sir, rate of reaction is the change in the amount of reactants or products per unit time. Now, what does it mean by unit time? Now, one unit of time, it can be one second. Now, one second is one unit of time. Uh, it can also be one minute. Okay, and it can also be one hour. Okay. Uh, so that is one unit of time. Sir. Okay, so rate of reaction means how fast the reaction change or how fast the products change in one unit of times or one seconds one minute or one hour okay so that is definitions and you need to memorize these definitions eh? you need to memorize these definitions okay uh, but what is reactants and products so let's do some revisions i guess you already know what's that right okay so if there's the reactions between uh, a and b and it produce c and d so this A and B is called the reactants. Eh? So they are the substance present at the beginnings of the chemical reactions. And then so this C and D is called the products. I call the products. So how much the reactants change or how much the products change in uh, one unit of time. Okay? Uh, the change of the reactants and products can be like, for example, A. Yeah? If A is a solid, okay, uh, the, the reactants will reduce uh, in the reactions the reactants will reduce uh. so then the rate of reactions that uh, can be uh, a a reduces by 30 gram in one minute okay so this is a rate of reactions uh. you see it reduces 30 gram in one minute that is how much it reduces in one unit of times right reduces 30 gram in one minute uh. so this is rate of reactions okay rate of reactions uh. it tell how fast the reaction occurs or for the products, let's say D is a gas, okay? So uh, D increases by 1.5 centimeter cube in one second. So this is also a rate of reactions, okay? But usually we do not write this, okay? We, we, we will write uh, 30 gram per minute, okay? We write the rate of reaction is 30 gram per minute, okay? 30 gram per minute means that, uh, sorry, we will write negative 30 gram per minute, sir, because it reduces, okay? If it reduces, then we write negative. So negative 30 gram per minute means that the reactants reduces 30 gram in one minute. And if the, uh, the products increases, okay, then we will write uh, 1.5 cm cube per second. Okay, so the rate of reaction is 1.5 centimeter cubes per second. Yep. So both of these, eh, we call it the rate of reaction, is the measures of how fast the reactions occur, sir. okay, or by the definitions, it's a change in the amount of reactants or products per unit times or per one unit of time. Common mistake made by students, sir. okay, high rate or fast rate, okay, believe me, this is a very common mistake that made by students. Okay, sometimes sir, when a student, he want to tell the reaction is fast, though, then he will say the rate of reaction is fast or the rate of the reaction is fast this is not true okay this is not correct and if you write this your teachers are not going to give you a mark okay why because if you want to tell a reaction is fast then you should tell the reaction is fast it's not the rate of reaction is fast okay or you can tell the rate of reaction is high means that we have high rate but we don't have fast rate Okay, fast is not the appropriate adjective for you to describe the rate of reactions. You must tell whether the rate is high or low, but you can't use the word fast or slow. Okay, if you want to use the word fast or slow, then you sh then you shouldn't use the word uh, the word of rate. 
You just tell the reaction is fast, then that's correct. Okay? But if you want to use the word rate, uh, then you must use the word high. The rate of reaction is high. Or don't write this in your exam. The rate of reaction is fast. That is not correct. Okay? Uh, same thing goes to this one. Okay? The rate of reaction is slow. So that's not correct. Okay? You should write the reaction is slow or the rate of reactions is low. Okay? So that's a common mistake that's usually made by students that you need to take note. 